What's up guys, it's your boy, still needs an intro, and today I'm going to show you how to change your car's spark plugs. Now the car in question for today's video is from last week's video, the 2003 Ford Mustang with the 3.8 liter V6, but if you follow this video it should apply to most cars in general. Now the way I personally like to go about projects like this one, I tend to usually start with the one that's going to be the most difficult. In this case, it'll be the rear passenger side, and then we'll work our way up the passenger side towards the front of the car. And then same thing on the back, we'll go past the brake booster on the driver's side and then make our way to the front. Now when you're working with spark plugs and stuff like that, it would be optimal to do it whenever the car is off and has been sitting for a while. This car just got done running probably half an hour or so, so it's still a little warm, but we should be fine. Bradley got the air intake pulled up and out of the way, so now we can go ahead and start working on this very rear spark plug. That is going to be... It's going to be snaked all the way back up under here behind all of these so what's going to be easiest in this case right there is going from underneath of this pipe that's right in front of it and then pulling the wire off and getting the socket on top of it so here we have the old spark plug you can see that the threads um, all the fur looking stuff is from the fiberglass that's insulating one of the lines in there but you can see the spark plug gap itself is pretty tarnished all up around the porcelain on the end of it and then here we have this nice new shiny spark plug so we're going to put this back in its place and then we've already done the second one so now after that we're going to do the first one and then work our way up the driver's side now while he's installing that, I want to show you guys a nice little trick. So this is a 13 16 spark plug socket. Um, the ones that we are working on are 5 8 sockets, but the reason they are spark plug specific sockets is because one, it is a 6 point only, these only come in 6 point, and then down in the very bottom of it you can see that little rubber grommet, and what it does, it essentially grabs a hold of the very top of the spark plug so that whenever you pull it out, it doesn't go anywhere but a neat trick for if you're in a pinch or if you don't necessarily have one at the moment you can go ahead and loosen the spark plug with a typical deep set 5 8 socket and then after you've almost got it loosened all the way and you can put the spark plug wire back on the spark plug and be able to pull it right out And may I say again, it is a great thing that we are replacing these spark plugs because yours is not supposed to look like this. So. And may I say for the thousandth time, it is a good thing we are replacing these spark plugs because it's not supposed to look like this. And there may be some internal stuff going on with the car but we won't worry about that right now good spark plug bad spark plug good spark plug bad spark plug all right the last spark plug is going in and you can see again just how beautiful these well, things are, hands are dirty, but you haven't done anything. so now that we got everything back in place we can go ahead and button everything back up. And the only thing we really took off was the air intake hose. So we'll get that back on there, tighten up the hose clamps, and then we'll start the car and see how she runs. All right, and now that everything is put back together, let's see how it runs. Smooth as butter, look at that. Now you can hear a little bit of an exhaust leak, but other than that, this thing runs super duper smooth. Now, if you found this video helpful, or at least entertaining, 
please be sure to drop a like and share it with your friends. If you'd consider subscribing, click over here. If you want to see what YouTube recommends you watch next, click over here. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys next time.